Hey, Namaskar everyone. How are you? Hopefully everybody has been doing fantastic. Uh, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. If you're already a subscriber and you watch my videos, I definitely appreciate it. And thanks for joining me again today. Um, today, by the looks of it, you know, it's a little, it's a little gloomy. It's a little overclass today. Um, and the temperature definitely, definitely isn't what I like. Uh, you know, I like those 80s and 90s. But uh, it seems like it would be an okay day for an adventure. Am I right? Of course I am. Um, today, this adventure brought me to the bridge capital of Ohio. So, does anybody know where that might be today? Now, don't think, don't think bridges as you would like somewhere like Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Think of a rural area. Think of covered bridges. Any takers on that? Well, if you're thinking Ashtabula, Ohio, you got it. Congratulations. Uh, so we know we're in Ashtabula, Ohio. Now I'm not, I'm not close to Lake Erie. I mean, I'm close, but I'm not close, close. Um, I'm a little bit north of 90. Uh, today we are going to take a look. Did I say look? No, if you didn't think, if you thought I came up here just to look at something and not go walk across that covered bridge right there, you're crazy. But that's what we come up here today to take a look up, is that covered bridge right there. That is the Smolin golf covered bridge and i think we should take a walk down there what do you think but you know first i want to show you this this rock right here this is the little parking area actually that's the parking area right there uh that they built i think this little pavilion right here was built in in like 2016 uh and they made this a park if you look down there you can walk down that way and i, I thought this rock was pretty cool right there I thought that was cool. Um, uh, and I'm going to show you this. I'm going to walk, after I walk the bridge, I'll show you this, this little signage uh, when I come back up because I, I kind of want to show you a couple things after I talk about the bridge. Yeah, that's what we came here to look at. I wish it was a little warmer, but hey. Well, like I was telling you, they have a parking lot where you can park at. And there's the sign that you can park and you can go down and walk across this bridge. How cool is that? Now, this isn't, uh, this isn't a, uh, uh, a lightly traveled road. This is a pretty highly traveled road, so be careful if you're walking. Now, if things go right, and I have enough time, we're not only gonna see one covered bridge, we're gonna see two covered bridges. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. But uh, I think I'll be driving down there though to get to where the second one would be. Right there, the Smolin Golf Bridge, Ashtabula County. Now, I was telling you that this is the bridge capital of Ohio. There are, in Ohio, there's a lot of covered bridges. There are 19. Now, somebody correct me if I'm wrong with that, but the last I knew it was 19 bridges, covered bridges in Ashtabula County itself. You can actually do a self-driving tour um, and visit all the bridges if you wanted to do that. Um, I would probably do that in the summertime when it's warm and it's nice out. Um, uh, and, and again, that's kind of why I want to show you that 
map up there where I was talking about because there's a lot of information on that. Um, look at that. I don't want to get hit. Check that out. Wow. That is awesome. But like I said, there's 19, I believe, covered bridges just in Ashtabula County alone. Now, why is this one so cool? Everybody likes covered bridges, right? Wooden covered bridges? Um, why is this one so special? Well, this is the longest covered bridge in the United States. The longest wooden covered bridge in the United States. Not enough for you? This is the fourth longest wooden covered bridge in the world. That's right, in the world. So that's some pretty awesome, awesome statistics of Ashtabula. Um, Ashtabula also has the shortest wooden covered bridge and it's actually not far from here i think it's on lake road or something lake drive um but we're, we're not we're not going to talk about that today what we come here is to talk about the smolen golf bridge now this is 613 feet long look at this <laughs> oh yeah 613 feet long i believe it's 51 feet wide total 30 of that being the roadway um i want to say it's like 37 feet tall and it is roughly 93 maybe a little bit past 93 feet above the uh if you can see out there that's the ashtabula river so it has it has some pretty pretty cool statistics to it and you're wondering about the name the smolen golf covered bridge there was actually a man named james smolen he was actually a county engineer in this area at one time and he had the idea for this covered bridge. I just this is this is so awesome, right? Now this was this was his idea, but this was built by Union Industrial Contractors and I think Kosky 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 Construction. Uh, but the idea was James Smolin. Um, and I told you he was a county engineer uh one of his big one of his big uh things that that he really wanted was to preserve and upkeep all these covered bridges uh in ashtabula county wow this is great now the idea with this bridge well, not the idea, because I'm sure the idea started before, but they started this in 2006, and it was completed in 2008. So, actually, not, not that long ago. Not that long ago at all. Yeah, see, I, I wish it was nice. I wish I would have got up here... Uh, when it was a little warmer out this year, but still splendid nonetheless, right? Man, is that awesome. That is cool. Look at this. Man, how cool is that? Wow. This is great. Now, I told you this was the longest bridge in the United States. This stole that title from New Hampshire, and that would have been the Cornish-Windsor Bridge. So, uh, 
when James came up with the idea for this bridge, he stole that title along with it. <laughs> that's, so that's cool, yeah. You know, that, that's, some, that's some awesome facts. That's some awesome facts. And this is built out of, out of yellow pine and hemlock. And, and hemlock is, is used for the sides in, in that. Now, you're talking pine. You know, to me, when I think of pine, it's, it, it, it seems like a soft wood. But we're talking like, you know, you're looking down in here. There's the, there's the cement uh, risers that come up in that, which hopefully we can get to the bottom of this bridge and look at the bottom as well. But we're talking, we're talking, you know, three foot wide, glued tiered, you know, pine uh, supports. So this, this sucker's not moving. And uh, this bridge actually replaced a steel bridge in, in this same location. It's in the same location. Um, there was a steel bridge here. I'm gonna go off subject. Look at that, man. You know, back then, see, I, I just keep going off subject. I was, I was telling you, you were wondering about the name, Smolin Golf. Smolin off, obviously from James Smolin, and uh, golf, this would be the, the river golf right here. So that's pretty much what that name comes from. Um, I was telling you there was a steel bridge here in this same exact spot. This, this wooden bridge, this covered bridge, replaced that steel bridge. Wow. This is great. This is great. I don't see nobody fishing down there. <laughs> in the summertime, you can in the summertime you can see uh, people fly fishing down there. But that steel bridge, the steel bridge that was here, that was built. I, I want to say in 1949 is when that was built. And if you even want to go a little further back in time, that steel bridge replaced. I guess you could say original bridge that used to be here back in the day, and that would have been in 1867. You know, again, if, if I'm wrong, uh, because I said in one of my other videos, I never read the information on uh, on on some of the the signs that are posted. I go about, I go with my videos about the things I know. So uh, we'll find out. You know, if I'm right. Um, but I think it was in 1867 that the original bridge would have been here, and that would have been the Crooked Golf Bridge. So there was the Crooked Book Golf Bridge, then there was another steel bridge that was in this spot that replaced that one, and now this bridge replaced that steel bridge. Um, and I, you know, James Smolin had an idea. Um, he was again he was big into covered bridges um, and his idea and his thoughts were that because of our harsh winters up here we get a lot of snow we get a lot of rain we get a lot of bad weather um, and especially in the winter they salt the roads so a lot of salt Salt's not good for steel. Salt deteriorates steel. It, it just destroys it. Uh, salt is good for wood. It preserves wood. So that was kind of his. That was kind of his idea uh, to go with a wooden covered bridge. On top of the fact that he loved covered bridges in the first place. That's, yeah, it, it is a pretty long bridge. 
It would have been nice if it was a little warmer out because it, it, it is chilly. So I usually don't like to wear my hoodie when I'm talking and stuff like that, but uh, it is what it is. It's cold and uh, you know, I have to do what I have to do. I think we should cross the street and uh, go walk the other side. What do you think? There's the other side of the bridge up there. Smolin Golf Bridge. Yeah, see, I told you, a lot of traffic on this road. You know, so be careful when you're walking. You know, obviously, you're allowed to walk across it. But, yeah, you do got to be careful if you're crossing. Yeah, see, they used all the hemlock wood for all the sides. And I'm assuming the fronts... You know, would this be a front and a back or two fronts, two backs? I don't know. And uh, you'll get a surprise here in a little bit because I am going to show you where I'm trying to get to for the second cover bridge. And uh, we'll talk more about that bridge when I get down there. But yeah, look at this. So if you like covered bridges, this is one you got to definitely check out. Actually, you need to come up to Ohio, wherever you're from. Even if you're from Ohio, come on up to Ashtabula because they have the most covered bridges. And you'll be able to do it in a day. Heck, you know what? Take a weekend. Take a weekend, get a hotel, and uh, make it a two-day adventure if you want hit some of the hit some of the wineries up here and, and that's what i haven't talked about either there is a lot of wineries up in this area so you could do covered bridges you could do wineries lake erie's up here you could have a blast you could have a blast especially if you're a photographer you know uh some some good photo ops definitely up here there is the other covered bridge that we will go take a look at in a little bit I'm gonna walk across this bridge and uh, we'll drive down I'm not gonna walk down there but that's cool right So that man that wind's chilly yeah i'm not gonna i i suppose you could walk all the way down there from where i'm parked right now but uh maybe maybe in the summertime i would have not today not today and there's some other trails i guess through here that you could actually walk so again if you're a photographer and you're in the wildlife photography and stuff like that uh very very cool area very cool area How cool is that? Two covered bridges. They got some benches down there, so if you get tired, if you're old like me and you get tired and you have to sit down, you'll be able to. We'll be able to get down by that water too. Of course, I don't think I'm gonna, you know, dip my toes or anything in it. It's probably freezing. Yeah, I believe Ashtabula has a, uh, I want to say that they have a, a covered bridge festival every October. So it would be passed already, but uh, yeah, maybe plan a trip around those dates. You know, check check it out, Google that up, see, uh, see when that goes on and, and put it on your uh, to-do list for next year uh come up during the, the during the festival i've never been to it but uh i think uh i don't know if they would have something like it all the bridges or do they just have like a starting point you know stuff like that but i, I think that would be a definitely you know a fun time to do now you cannot drive across that one that is just a pedestrian bridge down there <laughs> that's awesome that is sweet
Vestibula River. I think yeah, we're a little bit past the middle point of the bridge. Yeah, all the everything's kind of kind of gray. A little bit of green popping through from the pines, but yeah. But I wanted to get out here. I wanted something to do today, so I I figured why not come up here and do something on the on the covered bridge. And again, you know, it would be cool to do a video of of the whole uh driving bridge tour but that would that's a that's a all day thing so uh maybe i'll maybe i'll do the bridges one by one maybe that's something to do i'm lucky enough to live pretty close to all these places that you know i go to except when i'm going to these towers like in west virginia and stuff like that those are a little farther away but there's some big uh big wows pretty close to where i live so glad I can share, you know, that with you. Yeah, and again, this is this is fairly new considering, you know. Yeah, I'm used to the I'm used to covered bridges too, like uh when you go to some of the other ones, I'm used to the covered bridges having having wood you know planks for the road obviously you couldn't do that with this this is you know for uh heavy traffic so but the bridge itself is is remarkable look at the turnbuckles <laughs> how cool is that we just walked we just walked the longest wooden covered bridge in the United States in the fourth longest did I say longest or largest in the fourth longest wooden covered bridge in the world that's awesome look at that there's the other one down there the water sounds nice I don't know if you can hear it hmm when we get down there, you'll be able to. Yeah, see, here is, you'll see these signs when you come up into this area. You'll see these signs right here. Uh, and, and that's part of the tour. It's, you know, it's, it's pretty much a self-guided, self-driving bridge tour. Um, like I said, bridges, Bridges and wines, you know, what more, what more, what more do you want? You know, relaxing day. Now, you know what, let me walk up this hill and when I get up to that pavilion where I first started, I'll show you these signs and what I was talking about. Okay, I made it to the top. Like I said, this pavilion, nice little shelter, they made it, uh, what did I say, like 2016, something like that? And there's some information here. Now, I was telling you about Ashtabula itself and covered bridges, and they have the, the tours that you can do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this like this, pause it, and look it over. That's some historical points. Okay. Again, man, I always do this if you want to uh, if you want to read the information, just just pause the video. Just pause it and look at it. This here, yeah, covered bridges. That's what you want right there. How cool is that? And it'll show you, yeah, we're right, we're right here. That's the longest covered bridge. And this I want to do one day. I am gonna do a video on this bridge right there that's by the harbor and uh if you're a local you hate that bridge because in the summertime 
it goes up like every 15 minutes. <laughs> every 15 minutes or every half hour, one of the two, and the locals hate it because it, yeah, they have to wait for it to open and all the, bite, uh, all the boats to go through. Yeah, there's some more of the covered bridges right there. Again, just, uh, just pause it and then look it over and then you can read it. I was looking, there's a bird nest up here. Awesome. That's cool, right? Well, you know what? I think I am going to get into the car. And I'm going to drive a little bit and get down to the bottom over here. And uh, I will meet you down there and we'll walk across the other bridge. What do you say? See you down there? Good deal. Well, it looks like we made it, huh? Awesome. All right, let's go check it out and we'll walk down to that other one. You know, I kind of I kind of like the view from down here a little better to to be honest with you. I mean, I like the bridge itself. You know, walking across it. You know, it could be because it's cold. It could be because it's cold as well and and there's no the wind up there was pretty pretty harsh coming through there cuz there's it's just open. But uh, I just, I, I, I love this view here. You can see the three columns there. That's awesome. Now I didn't, I didn't talk about it when we were walking across, but this bridge is actually built in four sections. It's, it's not one complete, you know, structure. They build it in four sections. So, you know, I don't know, I almost kind of want to say this was like a, 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 a prefab kind of build where they built, you know, since it was four sections, did they, did they have that built? I think there's a video uh, that shows, somebody on YouTube did a video and I think he does a, a, a lapse of them building this. Um, so, might want to check that out as, out as well. Um, but yeah, I think they, I think that's what they did is they built these sections and kind of craned them and set them in place. Man, that's awesome. Check that out, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Wow. Ain't that great? That is just great. And, and you know, the, I don't know. I mean, we all take granted. We all take things for granted, you know. And uh, just, you know, you wouldn't think about it, but we are at the longest covered bridge in the United States. I mean, you, you know, kind of comprehend that. We're, we're, we're right here. We're getting to see it, you know. It, at one point, this may not be here in a in hundred years, you know, so we're, we're seeing it. So that's awesome. I know I get, I get excited over, over little things. Now, somebody was down here uh, painting. All right. There's that bench I was telling you about. Well, there's a couple of them. And what did I say when you're old like me? You know, you get tired and you kind of want to sit. <laughs> sit down, rest them bones, rest them knees. Especially in the wintertime. Ah, man, ouch. You know, your bones start hurting. Yeah, somebody was, somebody was down here painting flowers. Ah, we're right underneath. Check that out. Does it look like it's 93 feet above us? Yeah, I'm trying to think of some of the towers that I climbed. Yeah, it's about 93 feet. Now, this covered bridge we're walking to, so I don't know when that pavilion was made. Maybe I got my facts messed up. But this bridge right here, this is the Riverview Pedestrian Bridge. 
This was built in 2016. It's 150 feet long. Um, so nothing compared to that. <laughs> All right. But nonetheless, it definitely is spectacular. And again, I mean, I'm sure the I'm sure that the uh, the county or whatever can drive down here, uh, but this is just for pedestrian use. And this is this is 14 feet wide. This one. See, and all these covered bridges have the numbers on them. Number 19. Riverview Breer, or Riverview Bridge, Indian Trails Park. What's that say? Yeah, October 2016. And there's County Engineer John Smolin retired. So that's what did I say, James Smolin? Then now you know. Go back reverse to video. Not James Smolin, John Smolin. I don't know why I said James. Um my mistake, but I'm not going to fix the video. I'm just going to tell you now. John Smolin, <laughs> county engineer. And he was the one that came up with the idea for this wooden covered bridge. Right there. Can you hear the sound of the water? Wow. Yeah, see, now this one is wood look at that wow <laughs> that is awesome look at that view that that is a crazy view wow that is awesome yeah not i wonder why i was saying I wonder why i was saying james smolin John Smolin. So yeah, so now you know. If you're if you're watching the video and you knew I got the name wrong at the very beginning, don't comment because I just fixed myself now. <laughs> so you know, hey, we're all human. We can make mistakes like that. And I do this. I don't have a script. I just come out and I just start talking. So you know, give me a little bit of slack, right? some people out there with their dog by the Ashtabula River and that road up there no that's not 11 you can't see 11 from here the highway is is uh where are we the highway the highway is just over there somewhere now would be 11 11 north and 11 south I do like this bridge. This bridge is nice. There'd be some uh, cool photo ops in here. Well, actually, those people we passed, I don't know if they're in the video, they were doing some, they were taking some pictures down here. So, yeah, I could see this being a pretty awesome uh, photo op area. Two thousand twenty one. Who is that? James and Tiani. Alright, we'll come back. You know my videos, I like looking at those names and years from now. I wonder if they're still together, so twenty years from now we'll see uh we'll see if they're still together. Well, you know what? Let's since we're down here, let's uh let's walk down this way. Looks like somebody was and they slipped. Oh yeah, look, oh man. That, that is a crazy view. Wow. Wow, Ch oh man. Check that out. Wow. <laughs> if that isn't an awesome view, I don't know what is. Come on. 
That's an awesome view. Now, can you see down here doing some fly fishing? Be pretty cool, right? Oh, I bet you that water's cold. <laughs> that water gotta be freezing. Oh yeah, that, that's, that's cold. That is cold. It's a real nice area. I wasn't talking there for a little bit because I wanted to hear that water sound. That is great. So yeah, if you like covered bridges, this is a definite must. Just Astabula in general. Uh, you have to come and check it out. And, and do the whole tour. Write a list, write a list of, of all the addresses of all the bridges and you can do it in a day. And that's, that's you know, driving from, the, they're, they're really not far, there's a few that are scattered out. Um, but you can do the whole thing in a day and that's, you know, getting it out or maybe you're just wanting to drive across them and just to sneak, but if you want to stop, get out take a picture um you know this one obviously you're going to spend some more time at because you're going to get out you're going to walk across it and it, it's you know come down here so yeah I think we should walk back uh, to the car and uh, maybe, maybe I will put in the video the drive across the bridge. We'll see. I'll have to see if I have any zip ties. Maybe I'll, I'll put the uh, GoPro on the car. That's a cool uh, formation of a rock, huh? That almost looks like a, a topography rock. The way it is, the layers. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, it's getting a little chilly. Little chilly out here with that wind. Yeah, check that view out. So, I've never walked these trails back here. Maybe I have to one day get out here and walk them. I think when it gets warmer out, I will. It's a cool looking tree too. All right, well, let's... uh. Let's uh, walk, walk back up and uh, get going on with this video. Yeah, just be careful if you come down here, that clay is pretty slick. So, of course I've been, I've been known to fall in some of my videos, right? <laughs> yeah, awesome. That is awesome. So yeah, that's something to do is to mark down all the bridges and just do a day tour. And I brought, I did bring my camera with me because I, I did tell you, if you want to check out some of my photography, I am on Instagram with, and now my Instagram is just my photography page and that would be everything clicks photography and clicks is spelled k-l-i-x so check it out tell me what you think of that so things that i got wrong in a video was james smolin so we know that was john smolin and uh, things i could have been wrong about was the pavilion up there i don't think that was 2016 but uh i have to i have to look Look that up. How you doing? Uh, not too bad. How are you? Yeah. 
man. We we do take things for granted though. This is this is just some amazing things that we run across if we just get out get outside and look around and even even if you don't drive even if you can't drive just just walking a you know a mile or two just around where you live i'm sure i bet you can find some really cool stuff really cool history and uh just be in awe the rest of your day try it out So what do you think? Pretty cool, pretty cool adventure today. And that's uh, no pun intended because it's cool outside. It's cold, cold. It's not just cool, it's cold. See those, uh, see those big braces that I was talking about? I was talking about like three foot pine braces. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare. Uh, you know, that's all that, that's all the pine. You know, I just seen it. I guess this is. It is wood. That is wood underneath. I wonder if this was wood at one time. Well, no, that. Again, it wasn't that long ago, so I don't know. Maybe that's just the way it was built, but it is. It's asphalt up on top. I just noticed that. Yeah, there's wood planking. Huh. All right. Now, if you bring your kids with you and they want to check out the bridges, yeah, they'd be able to climb up there. How cool would that be? It's too cold. I would go up there and climb, but it's, it's too cold. You know what? Whenever it's cold outside and you hit your hands on something, it hurts like, you know, 10 times more. <laughs> Let's go down and check the river out. You guys want to go check the river out? Since we got the video rolling, right? Why not? I don't see why we can't do that. You watched me this far. There's a squirrel over there climbing a tree. Yeah, he went around. Yep. Ashabula River. Yeah, that probably has some pretty good fishing in it. You know, another reason uh, John <laughs> Smolin went for uh, wooden bridges is the area we lived in. It was, it was, uh, you know, it, it was a lot of wooded areas around here, a lot of trees. So he used that resource. Whether that's right or wrong, I told you I'm big on conservation animal conservation i also don't like deforestation and things like that but if you're thinking way back in history that's what people did they uh you know cut down trees they used that lumber for things but they also did replant trees so uh there's some bad and good in with that situation but that was his that was his idea too of why not use wood for bridges it's lighter uh it's just as strong and uh the supply was was great uh now there's another drawing now nah, the sun well the sun's trying to come out just uh it wants to but those clouds aren't letting it all right well that's that's the adventure for today so uh i'm gonna leave it at that one more look at the at the bridges 
that's that's awesome glad I could share that with everybody and again if you're close to the area get out here and take a look walk across that come down here you know you don't have to uh, again the the parking lot is is up there for the for the main bridge okay uh, and if you drive down this road down here uh, you, there's the parking lot here's some parking areas here there's a parking there's even a restroom but there's some parking over there and you can walk and go see the other bridge and get a treat and walk the underbelly of the Smolin Golf Bridge. So spectacular to say the least. But uh, I'm going to leave it at that. And we definitely will have some other adventures. Again, thanks for stopping by and watching the video. I do appreciate it. I want you to like the video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I, I, it's it's probably been a little more time than I usually do on this one. It's just been cold out, so I don't get out as much. Uh, but thanks again, and until I see you on the next adventure, wherever that may be, who knows? We'll find out, I'm sure. Fetterman Lange.